Camacho Camacho. Hey Joe, how's it going, man? How's it going, man? I'm doing great, man. Cool. Same now, man. you've had some time to reflect back on your, your fight you had at Call to Arms 1. Just uh, give me your thoughts about it, you know? Uh, I fought uh, Karin Darabedian. He's a, a, a very uh, strong, up and coming fighter. He's a tough guy. Uh, we had a good. A uh, good round, one fought one round, you know. So we had a good, you know, round going back and forth, you know. Uh, he he sh took some shots, I took some shots, I missed them, he missed them. It was a good back and forth round, and in somewhere in that round, I got uh, uh, I got cut over the eye. But since there wasn't any blood, no one knew I I was cut. And then um, it's, it's right here. I had 11 stitches at the end of the night. But uh, after round one, when I sat down, you know, the referee saw my cut and they called the doctor in. The doctor said, uh, you know, it's a pretty bad cut. So they just flagged it, flagged it off and, you know, waved the fight off. So. Do you know exactly what was it that cut you? Was it a punch that he threw? Um, at first, uh, everybody was saying it was, they, they had suspected a headbutt because he kept putting his head on my, on my eye, on my eye. And then uh, I went down to the studios to actually take a look at that fight so that in case it, it was a headbutt, I could contest it. But since I saw the fight and we slow played it in slow motion, it was actually um, an elbow. It was, Karn had threw an uppercut and missed the uppercut and I leaned towards my left and the elbow grazed me. It wasn't even a, a thump, it was a graze, so it, it nicked me. So being that it nicked, it kind of like, it was a slice, like a razor blade cut, clean cut, and that's why there wasn't any blood because it, it, there wasn't it wasn't uh, any impact on that eye. So you know, uh, it was a cut and it was a good stoppage because I know if I would have continued fighting, it probably could have been worse. What was your uh, your game plan coming in against them? Uh, my game plan was actually to stand and bang. You know, he's a good boxer, he's a good jiu-jitsu guy, good grappler, good judo. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay on the ground, uh, but I wanted to stand and box with the guy. Uh, you know, this, he, he had some uh, amateur boxing fights, uh, um, you know, he had some experience boxing, and you know, I, I wanted to test his, his uh, stand-up, and you know, I wanted to see where, how the fight would have evolved with my striking and, and he, he, you know, countering or, or attacking me. You know, there wasn't really a plan. It was just uh, pressure. Just I just wanted to just pressure him with with the strikes and, and and just keep coming forward. Would you like to get a rubber batch against him? Uh, I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, it was a stoppage, and you know, unfortunately, I got cut. He took. He won the fight. It was a you know a legal strike. But yeah, of course, why not? You know, let's you know finish where we started. You know, it, it was. I mean, there's no bad blood between us. But you know, me as a competitor, I just hate to lose. And, Losing by a cut, you know, kind of put the sour taste on my mouth, and you know, I know, I know he didn't like like it to end that way as well. But you know, you know he won. It was his night that night. So you know, if if there were to be a rematch, well, of course, you know, I love it. I have rematch. one other one other question. You know, everyone saw you come in. You came out with the bullets and everything like that. I've never seen anyone come out like that. What, what's the backstory behind that? Well, originally, Call to Arms was supposed to cater to the Latino community, uh, and it was called, you know, Grito de Guerra, you know, um, and um, I wanted to, uh, uh, you know, cater to the Latin community, and, and since I, and my major fan base was the Latino community, I wanted to, you know, come out representing my culture, you know, it, it, it was about culture for me that night. It wasn't any sh uh, 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 shot to anybody. I know. I know. Karn has a, uh, Ar a large Armenian draw. I knew that house was going to be packed with Latinos and, Ar and, and, Ar and, and Armenians. So I wanted to just, you know, pretty much, you know, uh, uh, come out representing my culture. It wasn't really a Mexican thing. I am Mexican, but it was more of a, a Latino thing. All of us under the umbrella, you know, the Latin umbrella. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure all your fans, you know, appreciate you out in East L.A. and everywhere else. Uh, any last parting words, Joe? Uh, you know, hey, you know, I, I got 11 stitches. Let's see that cut again. Yeah, I got 11 yeah. stitches, and they're out. I'm back in action. I'm training. I'm, I'm training 100% now. And uh, so uh, whenever I get a fight offered to me or, or uh, any fights on the table and, 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 
and um, um, you know, pretty much I'm ready for a fight. I'm ready to go. I'm looking for some time in August, and hopefully I, I land a big show in August. Uh, like I said before, I'm 36 years old. I don't have that many fights in me left in me, so um, I'm gonna fight as long as I can right now. So. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Thanks a lot.